this week on Nation, it is busy season and it is upon us, so let's talk about that. Hopefully, you'll pick a couple things out that might help you through the craziness. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from Window Queen Resource and, of course, WCR Nation, where you are, man. If it's your first time checking us out, thank you very, very much. Have a look around. We have quite a few episodes. We are uh, honing in on 100 weekly episodes, so please check it out. You guys are awesome. Uh, if it is um, not your first time here, you've been here a bunch of times, and most importantly, more most eh, either way you buy your supplies through me big or small one item ten items pure water traditional whatever if you buy your window cleaning supplies through me being a window cleaning resource rep this is for you man it is truly truly appreciated that you guys let me do that that's how i make my cheddar it is awesome um i also love hearing all the fancy things i get to have because of it every week i tell you something different and um i think the last week if i didn't already say it somebody called and said hey man thanks for putting my order in now you can go get some name brand corn dogs so boom corn dogs um yeah anyway let me know if you would love me to be your rep oh wait if you'd like me to be your rep i would love to be your rep 862-312-2026 is my cell text me call me Put everything in your cart. As long as you're logged in, make sure you're logged in or you'll lose it. Put it all in your cart. Text me and be like, yo, what up? Everything's in my cart. Let's put the order in. I'll call you. We'll do it. Cost you nothing extra. And you become a cool kid. You're one of the awesome, one of the elite, one of the nation. So please do that. Uh, if you are listening to this on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, all those fun places, give a review. Uh, I love it. We're running five stars, so that's pretty awesome. If you're on YouTube right now, take two seconds. It's probably playing and maybe in the background or something, but take two seconds and click the thumbs up on the video. That just shows me you're actually paying attention, and uh, it's super appreciated. And listen, I've been getting some amazing emails and texts from you guys saying that, uh, you know, Nation's really done something for you. It's helped you keep it up. I, I really, really do appreciate it. I talk into a little hole on my computer screen every week and uh, it really is uh, appreciative when you guys order through me um, and uh, let me know you come from Nation and uh, things that have happened and uh, how it's helped you. So anyway, some shout outs this week. Uh, Window Cleaning Anthony on YouTube, what's up? Uh, Eric No, what's going on? Tyler Brown, what's up, man? And uh, also, Bree Seth, uh, what's going on, man? Um, I have you in as a breeze. He was one of the people who really just said some awesome stuff. So um, it's pretty awesome. But anyway, thank you guys. Uh, this week we are talking about the busy season because it is upon us. If you are in the south or somewhere warmer, it's been here a little longer. But if you are in the cold areas, this week as I'm recording, uh, you guys are going to get a blizzard in the Midwest like the plains. So sorry. That's why I moved from Wisconsin to North Carolina. For that exact reason. Because those winter storms, now when your brain is switched and you're in window cleaning mode, you're like, yeah, let's get it. And then it snows. It's like soul crushing. Soul crushing. But anyway, hang in there, guys. It is busy season. And um, this is what we wait for all year long. Really. I mean, this is what, the middle of winter, you know, when we're just twiddling our thumbs trying to get everything ready. We're like, oh, man. It's going to crack. It's going to go. Well, this year's super early. If you haven't realized, um, comment if you're watching on YouTube, actually. I'd like to, to know if it is early for you. But uh, for us at WCR, um, because we're nationwide, it is overall early. The jump, the spring, the light switch has happened a heck of a lot early, uh, earlier by probably a good four weeks than normal. Um, so that's awesome. Hopefully that trajectory just keeps us going and blasts us into uh, summer. And we have a short summer season like we did last year. If you remember, uh, everybody seemed to be really working through summer last year because our spring was so jacked up. So pros and cons, right? But we're busy right now. We are working crazy hours. And um, this, is what we, this is what we wait for all year long is busy season. But there are a few things that I... 
always try to do in busy season. Now, let me preface this by what I say every single week. I'm just a dude with the mic who is just talking, right? I don't know anything about your business. Uh, do things the way you want to. I don't know nothing, man. You can't do anything wrong, literally, you guys. Uh, this is your business. So however you do it, Taylor, it's up to you. But here's some things that I just want to bring up. You probably know some of them. It may help you and it may not. And it may just be our special time <laughs> every week. You're hanging out with us and uh, you're just here. But either way, here's what's going on. In busy season, everybody's brain goes to slow season for advertising, right? Oh, man, it's summer. It's slowing down. We got to ramp up the ads. Ads don't work when people don't want to buy. It is very, 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 very hard to put an ad out that is so absolutely amazing that it makes people buy when they don't want to buy. It's just, it's just so hard. It just doesn't happen, right? What does happen is you see a cheeseburger billboard on the highway at dinner time, and it makes you pull over to that store to get the cheeseburger because you want one then. You may not even know you want one until it reminds you that you want one, right? But if you're advertising a cheeseburger at six in the morning, you just you just you know got your coffee, you're on your way. You're not you're gonna look at the cheeseburger and be like, it's not even gonna register that you want one because you don't. That billboard is not selling cheeseburgers at 6 in the morning. It is only helping to re, you know, I guess advertise, but it's helping to remind you that the product exists when you want the product or to bring it to the surface when you don't even know you need the product, but it's in the back of your head, right? When you're hungry, it's easy to sell a cheeseburger. When you're thirsty, you can sell water, right? It's the same thing in window cleaning. And sometimes people, it's very hard because if you're not getting work, man, what do you want to do? You want to get work. That's kind of the nature. That's that's what we do. If you are a lion and you're hungry, you need to eat. You got to get it, right? But here's the thing. When it's busy, it's in people's brains. So advertising now, as counterproductive as it sounds, is the absolute best thing to do. It is in everybody's brain right now that window cleaning exists. Even if they don't know it's in their brain, it's there because it's spring. That's why your light switch happens. You get two calls one day, the next day you get 58 calls. That's why. So advertising now is absolutely critical. And here's the thing. You go, well, listen, I am booked out a month. That's awesome. High five. Kudos to you, man. You're living the dream. But you still need to advertise right now. What happens after that month? What happens after busy season's done and you got nothing? You're going, oh man, now I got to advertise. It doesn't work that way. You have to advertise now, as they say, the whole striking when the iron's hot. That is what you have to do. So here's kind of an idea for you to think about. So as you advertise and get people in, you can get them in now because it's in their brain, but book them out for a later date. I don't like the idea personally to be booked out solid for more than four weeks. I just don't like that. I don't like the, the, the mindset. I feel like if you're booked out that far, it's time for more employees. Um, but there's a few things you can do to kind of uh, change how that comes across and feels. But here's a big thing. When you advertise, you're getting people from all kinds, people who don't care, just get it done, to people who want it done tomorrow. To people who you know don't have the money to get it done quite what you want to offer. So here's one tip that we talked about before. Is if somebody, you're calling, your advertiser, you're getting all these out and those people go, because you're charging a premium now. People want it now, you're charging the most. You're not giving discounts right now. Discounts is a trigger. You don't need a trigger. Spring is the trigger. So charge your full price. If you were at $199 for 20 windows, now you're at $249, $229, whatever. Charge a premium. Get those people in at a higher price right now because it is hot. Um, but if somebody calls and says, hey, I don't like that price. I just can't do it for that price. You know, is there anything Is there anything that you can do? Is there anything you can change? Yes, yes, there is. Listen, there is a time in the middle of summer that we're slower. And I would love to get you in that. And I can take $50 off your $249 price and get you at $199 if you do it. July 1st. If you're not in a rush, you could save 50 bucks. 
and we can do it when we're a little bit slower and you can save some money. So now you're taking the busy time because it's in their brain now, it's not in their brain in July, and you're putting them in the schedule for July. They're happy because they saved a bunch of money. It's not a rush, but it's in their brain now. They're happy to say yes. Okay, so now you're filling up dead space, which summer is always going to slow down. Dog days of summer is always harder than spring, obviously. It's always harder than fall, obviously. But now you're filling that up. But you're getting those people when it's in their brain. It may be in their brain now, even if they don't book service for later. If you are a month out, and I've talked to people who are two months out, I mean, that to me is awesome and yet crazy at the same time. Like, I feel like you should be able to get people in to fill that work. Uh, the other side of it is, is that if you're charging a premium, you're also able to work at overtime. So this time of year, to fill and shorten that so you're not losing people just due to time, you can start working more hours in a day. I know not everybody wants to do that, and not everybody is in this to kind of kill themselves, and I get that. But if you don't want to hire somebody new, and you're working so far out, why not throw an extra house in at the end of the day? So instead of being done at 435, now you're done at 730. The light is there. You can still do it. People are maybe happy to get done in the schedule. You're working it out. Now you're only talking about those two hours of that one job paying your tax a little bit more, but you're charging more because it's that time of year. You can, we've done premium slots, which was weekend work. Premium slots was a uh, premium tag price to get in on the weekends. Um, and there are people out there who are willing to pay more to get done sooner than later. And now I can pay my guys a bonus for weekend work, or I have some guys that want it, some guys don't, so I can't fill it up as much. Uh, maybe only one guy wants it, and I'm going to send a guy out by himself. He's got to get a premium. He's going to get a bonus. It's going to take a little bit longer, but you can do that. Fill up. You got seven days a week. Now, I know we've seen things from me, especially, that I do not work weekends. I just... I got into business to not work weekends. So my way to allocate that and still not work weekends was to offer it to um, the operations officer to run the weekend stuff. If they didn't want to, they didn't. it didn't happen then. But I had enough staff to keep my books shorter than longer. Um, so I don't work weekends. I really usually don't. Now doing sales, of course, I do. Um, but... Um, I answer texts usually, um, but uh, you got to have some downtime. And that's that's what I choose. So again, there's nothing you can do wrong. This is your business. But some ideas to kind of think about. The other thing that you need to do right now is you don't know where people are going or what they're doing when you can trigger it in their brain that they need you. So you need to advertise everywhere. And it sounds so dumb because some of this stuff doesn't work quite as well, but right now, being everywhere can trigger responses. So right now at the time that you're in Craigslist, you're on uh, Facebook, you're paying Facebook ads, you're doing uh, Google ads, uh, you're doing pay-per-click, you're doing, your SEO work's already laid out, but you're doing things on your site itself to get that all different places. The free sites, you're putting it out there. You're making sure your Yelp is up to date. You're making sure that all of your uh, directory pages are up to date. You're putting business cards out, handing out door flyers. You're doing your five up, five downs, plus an EDDM marketing, um, uh, I guess, pro not program. You know what I'm saying. You're doing EDDM. <laughs> you're sending out postcards, a, a simple four by six, to your existing customers, plus you've already done your call list or you're doing it now, right? You're doing absolutely everything right now. You are putting it all on the table right now. Now's the time. So in summer, say that you can tag, and this is just for simple numbers out of nothing, but say you're tagging one out of 10 people, you know, one out of 20 people even, where there's a lot of people who are seeing it, but out of the normal people who would be hiring you, they're just not in their brain. Middle of summer, it's just that's it's dusty. It's middle of summer. People don't want it done, right? It's hot. They just they don't need it. Their blinds are closed anyway because it's hot, right? It is harder if you're only taking one out of ten people. Then this time of year, you're taking one out of two. 
So why not spend more time advertising now when you can get a higher response in everything you do? I've had people, and Craigslist ads are just, in my brain, such a waste because you just, you keep them relevant, but I don't know who really looks at them. But I've gotten work that way. I've gotten work that way. Don't do phone book. If you're doing phone book still, don't tell me your customers are different. If you've worked out the numbers and you still think that you are getting a return that's positive, stay in the phone book. But you're probably not. Everything else, though, if it's a free thing, oh my gosh, if it's a free thing like a, a family group, you know, like a Moms of Mooresville or, a, um, you know, any of these groups that are out there that um, are mother groups, are um, uh, listservs like uh, Nextdoor, if they're any type of Facebook group that pertains to just people in general, those are awesome, awesome things. And don't spam find clever ways to do it so you're not kicked out of these groups right and if you are doing work for people now's the time where they should be giving you referrals referrals are huge this is all free advertising from the facebook groups to the yes there's paid stuff but there's a lot of free stuff that you can do right now that is hot but now's the time to do it another big thing when i'm talking referrals is that when you ask all year round you may get people but this time you push them you push those referrals because guess what if little Susie Smith has her windows done, her best friend Gertrude wants to get them done also. She just does because guess what? Susie just got them done. Hey, what's new, Susie? Ah, oh, nothing. We just got our windows cleaned. It's just nice. Oh, you did. Oh, right. Getting those referrals. Now is the time you push for them because those are hot. You have to spend so much time getting this stuff, the work in. Those are chasing things. It's coming to you already. I get that. Don't sit back and be complacent because you're going to miss a huge, huge opportunity. It's hard to understand that really, especially if you guys are new, uh, which you are awesome. Thanks for listening. You guys are really boosting up your business by, by learning everything you can. But when you're new, it's really hard to understand that. You're like, man, I'm busy now. Why would I advertise now? I'm busy. Yeah, but the busy stops. You have to understand that the busy is because it's in people's brains because they want to buy. That's why. It's why the housing market dips around uh, January 1st. People don't want to buy houses. There's just too much stuff going on. It's always lower then. But then what happens in spring? When all that's done, it boosts back up. Then it's hot. That's when you put your house on the market. It's the same thing with window cleaning. Is When people want window cleaning, that's when you advertise window cleaning. If you do an ADDM, uh, you know, uh, that's every door direct mail. If you do a mailing in January, you're going to get a crap response. I mean, yes, there's, there's, you know, areas that are warm and there are, um, uh, exceptions really to that. But, but for the most part, you're going to get a crap response. You do an EDDM right now and your ROI could be 3%. It could be crazy. That's through the roof. Your normal ROI is like a one, 1%, you know? Doing a uh, next, um, not a next door, a uh, um, send gym is another thing that this time of year you can target those areas because if one person's getting it done, they see it and everybody wants it. That's the kind of stuff again in January you just can't do. So getting those advertising, uh, getting people's eyes on what you have to offer this time of year is crucial. It's crucial. People want to buy. People want to buy. So enough harking on that. Just advertise every spare second of your day you're not working eight hours right now you're working more right say you work eight hours in the field but yet you got some time to do office stuff do two hours of advertising put it everywhere look at send gym send gym is phenomenal look at that uh get responsive put responsive on your site so that people when they do find it they have a place to book appointments this stuff is all stuff that should be implemented but now you can really push it on the other side of it is if you are an employee person, by the way, comment down below if you have employees and how many you have. If you have none, put zero and be proud of that, man. You're, when you make a dollar, you make a dollar. You know what I'm saying? But put it down. I'd like to hear it on uh, YouTube here. Um, but new employees this time should already be trained. And if they're not, you're behind the eight ball and it's going to suck. Because now it's busy. You need people to be performing and they're not because they're new. So this is hard. But if you're good, your staff is good, you think it's a good spring, A, like 
good on you because employees suck. It's always the worst time of year. But have backup employees. Do interviews on other people in case somebody leaves. It's busy time. You need to have applications in. You need to still be trying to find employees even if you're not hiring right now. You need to give them some interviews and let them know that uh, we're pre-hiring process as soon as we know anything. You have to do all that. Because if Joe James, you know, your lead tech guy, if he decides he's gone, like, hey, man, I got another job or I got to move or whatever, now all of a sudden I got a a folder of five people that I've interviewed that I like that I want to bring in. I'm going to call and say, hey, is Jersey from XYZ just calling to see if you still need a job? We're looking to bring you in. Oh, no, sorry, I found one. Not a problem. Hey, keep us in mind. Next person. Hey, did you? Yeah, we're still, I'm still looking. Awesome. Can you start tomorrow? Right? These are the things that you always have people on the weight, on the the edge of it. Then you're always going to have the possibility to get those people in on short notice. That's what happens this time of year. Truly, truly happens this time of year. You got to get them planned. If those people are new and you need to accelerate them before, guess what? Saturday and Sunday, you got to have them come in. If there's no work, you need to have them come in and practice. Get some practice. Have them go to your house and clean your house 10 times. 10 times, work it through with them. You have to have them efficient this time of year. If you can get 10% more efficiency out of all of your guys, that is killer because that's 10% more work you can pack on, right? So new hires, you got to be tough. Uh, You got to be tight on those and get them kind of up to par. The faster you do, the better you are. Um, The other side of uh, employees doing the work is having the work. Like I said, if you're pushed out so far that you're getting people go, ah, no, I'm looking for something a little sooner. You need to figure out in your business how you can adjust that. So are you going to allow people to book weekends? Are you going to allow people to, however you want to do it, you have to make it uh, able to be done by these, by people. The other big thing is um, if you're not hiring new people and you're putting uh, more people in trucks in the same equipment, having the equipment to get somebody out there is huge. So I know people go, well, of course you're talking equipment, that's what you do, you do sales. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is having the equipment. Even if you know you have it already and it's all old stuff, you got to put a kit together so that when the next person comes in, they have everything that they need. If you have to hire somebody on the spot quick or you got somebody or you need to go do it or anything, you need to have that equipment. You also cannot afford to have equipment go down this time of year. I can't tell you how many people buy extra pressure washers this time of year. And if you're new, again, that's something you're, well, they're just spending $1,600 to have a backup. Yes. Because $1,600 now equates to them not being down more than 30 minutes in the future. That is huge. This time of year, if you miss a day, two, four, say you miss five days because you got to wait for something to get in and all this other stuff, five days of work could potentially be $5,000 worth of work. You know, it could twenty five hundred dollars worth of work. Whatever you're getting per day, that's a huge amount. That's work now that you have to try to tack on to the end of what you're doing. Another disadvantage of being booked out so far is what happens when it rains. If it rains, I know have a seven day rain guarantee. There's nothing more valuable to help your scheduling than that. No, a seven day rain guarantee is not abused. No one will call you because rain is clean. I've had in 14 years, one lady call me and she was scamming us trying to get a free window cleaning. Uh, and everything else, it just basically, when you, somebody says, oh, it looks like it's going to rain. I'd like to reschedule. You say, well, we're actually four weeks out right now, but we do have a seven day rain guarantee. So you don't have to worry about that at all. If anything happens on your windows or dirty, spotted anything from the rain, you call me, I come back and make it look good. I promise uh, we'll, we'll be on top of it, whatever. If it does rain, you get these summer storms, you get big rains, you get snow this time of year. If you're booked out four weeks or more, now when, when you know, Mrs. Smith's house gets, you got a whole day worth of stuff. You have all those jobs now. You have to try to pack on four. Hey, sorry, we can't come out today because of the rain, obviously. Ha, 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 yeah. We'll be back in four weeks. We'll be back in six weeks. You can't do that. You're going to lose those customers. If you run so tight that you don't have time to fill that stuff in, you're going to kill yourself. Some guys 
will do a rain day every month. And every month they have one day where um, there's nothing slated on that. So they could do fills, they can pick up uh, jobs or do touch-ups or whatever they need to do. That's super smart. Even doing that once every two weeks where you have a half day every other Friday where that's all for emergency stuff. That's for you know filling that up in the schedule uh, for rain days and that type of thing. That's huge. If you're booked out four to six weeks, what do you do? Again, comment down below if you're watching on YouTube. I want to know what you do. We had a floater schedule. A floater board, if you don't know what that is, is one of the greatest things in window cleaning. One of the greatest things. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't ever learn anything ever from the show, sweet, still thanks for hanging out, you know, thanks for putting orders in and all that. But here is one of the things that doing this changed everything for us. So a floater, 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 floater. <laughs> Jeez. a floater board is a um, whiteboard. And I don't have one around me to show you how it's decked out. But our floater board is just lines like you see at a car dealer, you know, where there's just like a spreadsheet almost on a, on a board. And on that floater board, what I put is outside only window cleaning. I put um, gutter cleaning. If you do gutter cleaning, um, I do, uh, sometimes I'll do house washes. Um, but anything that you think that needs to get done in certain spaces when it comes available. So if you need to go do a touch up or Mrs. Jones needs, you know, her screens taken down or whatever you have where it doesn't warrant a, um, an appointment because the person doesn't need to be home. And you can just give them the heads up to make sure windows are closed or whatever. That is what the floater board is for. And the floater board for us is how you fill gaps. Now, if you're four, six weeks out, floater board is going to suck because you're not filling these gaps, right? But there's always days where instead of being done at five, six, or seven at night, in the busy season, you're done at like three because someone canceled or you guys were working super fast or you ended up getting the job and they went, ah, we just want the outsides done, right? The floater board has that work to fill those gaps and it gets done. That's the key. If you're taking gutter cleaning and you're throwing gutter cleaning in on uh, Tuesday the 7th at uh, 9 o'clock, well, no one needs to be home for that. I mean, that could be done anytime. Why not put that on a floater board where now you can fill the other space so you can make those tight, tight, tight times. I've had times where on the floater board too, uh, we would throw uh, bonuses on floater board work, which... Um, uh, super sounds counterproductive, but when guys are dead and done for the day, if they each get an extra 10 bucks, the crew would get an extra $20. So each get 10 bucks to do floater work. They'd be like, dude, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's do a floater job. Like, all right, Hey, they call the office and say, Hey, we need a, a floater job. We'll be done at probably four, four fifteen. We need a floater job to get us to about six. Cool. I got this one. It's in your area. Here you go. Boom. They get a bonus, right? The extra work gets done. Your tickets for the day get higher than they were before. A floater board is just such a killer, killer idea. And it's so stinking simple. But if you haven't implemented one, implement a floater board. And I'm telling you, you're going to just love it. Don't be booked out four to six weeks, though. That's going to kind of screw yourself up. If you have gaps like that, that's where you're going to start doing those rain jobs. The rain jobs go on floater. If you have outside, if you have inside and outside, say, hey, listen, we're going to schedule you for Tuesday the 7th. But if something comes up sooner, I'm putting you on the floater board. If it comes up sooner, we're going to call you and say, hey, we'll be there in 15 minutes. Does that work? We'll check with you. If it's not, it's not. But doing that helps fill those gaps. Gaps in schedules kills your productivity. I've had days where two people have canceled on a day, probably even more than that. Well, all of a sudden, your full day of making $1,000 for the crew, all of a sudden, that crew is done by noon? That's like, oh, gosh, that's just such a waste. So put the floater board, put it in the, if you got one, tell me about it. If you're going to get one, do it. It's a genius idea. I'm telling you, it was not probably my idea, but, uh, since I've implemented it, I tell everybody about it. So go do that and uh, enjoy busy season, busy season. This is what we work for all stinking year long. So make your money. We're like squirrels. Get it when you can, you know, but anyway, that's our show this week. Hey, if you're still listening, I want to give you a code for 5% off. Now listen very, very closely. 
you have to call me at my number or text me. You cannot go on and say, hey, I'm trying to find a place to put the code in. You can't put the code in anywhere else. It can only be through me. Only through me. So I get people every week that like Alex will be like, hey, I got a guy that's looking to use a code from Nation. Well, you can't. Why are you talking to Alex? You have to call me in order to be. Listen, guys, this is what I do all the time. I am here. My number is 862-312-2026. Call me. That's my number. I'm telling you. Text me. Call me. Whatever. Anyway, here's the code for this week. This week, um, the code is squirrels because we're like squirrels this time of year. So if you call me, again, gotta call me. You can't just go through the website. There is no place to put the code in on the site. You call me, you say squirrels, <laughs> or text me, or email me, jerseywindowcleaner.com. Um, I'll put the order in and you'll save 5% on the order. It's pretty awesome. And it's like a virtual high five. And you can tell me what kind of fancy thing I get. Like real name brand chocolate tacos, or uh, you know, bottled Aquafina water as opposed to you know, food club water. Either way, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, babbling this time of the show, but if you guys are putting orders in through me, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. So thank you very much again, 862-312-2026. And until next week, go be busy, but more importantly, be epic.